This video is brought to you by Squarespace. What is up guys, Brandon here, how you're doing? Now over the last six months, you guys have been demanding that I get hold of one certain product. Now it comes in at like 180 quid, $200, so I was a little bit hesitant at first, but I have pulled the trigger and I can't not, I cannot tell you enough how much I love this little thing. This is the GPD XD Android gaming device, which looks almost identical to a 3DS. Um, you could call it the fake, Nintendo DS, but the more I play with it, the more I kind of think of it as its own brand now, like the GPD brand. But the reason I love it is because you can install like N64 ROMs, Game Boy ROMs, Sega ROMs on this thing, and it will automatically know the uh, the layout of that game on your buttons here. So you can literally just download and play within a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna take you through the unboxing experience, then I'm gonna set it up for you and uh, basically show you how easy it is to download ROMs on this thing right here. So without further ado, let's get unboxing. So here is what the packaging looks when you order from Amazon or other stores. You get this little logo on the front. I don't know if this is GPD's logo. It might be a little f laughing man there. On the side, you get GPD and your uh, your sizes, so 1632, and we have the 64. Then on the back, which I thought was a little weird, when you smile, the world loves him. When you laugh, the world fears him. I don't know if this is some kind of riddle, but it just feels to me like it's random words put together to make you feel good. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the box here. This is what you're greeted with a nice picture of the XD here And then you've got the console here, which we have like a red deep crimson red um, You get a screen protector as well, which is quite nice Not even Apple and stuff give you that nowadays you get your micro USB cable and an adapter um, when we ordered from Amazon they actually gave us a three pin adapter for the UK and they even chucked in a mini HDMI as well um, because you'll see in a minute that this can use that so if you pull off the protective film here this is what you're greeted with that really dark red which is quite nice it's like metallic um, so it's definitely gonna stand out of the crowd when you're playing on the bus um, so let's take you through it a second on the back here you have a wide number of buttons you've got four bumpers R2, R1, L2, L1. You've got an SD card slot, which will be your best friend. You have a micro USB, a mini HDMI, and your auxiliary cable there as well. Nothing on the right side, nothing really on the front, just a nice lip for you to open it up. Nothing on the left side, and on the bottom here, you get some uh, grips which are absolutely useless. They don't even grip on here because the grips aren't actually embossed, so that's pretty, pretty useless there. So if I open it up for you, you are greeted with the very large touch screen here. Uh, you get two analog sticks. You could probably see here as well an L3 and R3. So technically you're getting six bumper triggers, which is very nice. You get your D-pad, start, select, your back, your home. You get your A, B, X, Y, which is like Xbox buttons. And then I don't know if you can see on the buttons here, you get your PS four shapes as well which is quite nice they added that touch and your speaker grill here and then you get your volume up down um, your controller settings and then your power on button so as you can tell it looks very much like the 3ds but it's taken on its own version with the whole button layout and analog sticks here i'm not digging this empty slot here like that really annoys me it just looks like out of place i feel like they could do something with that i i don't know um but yeah this is what it looks like i'll turn it on for you now and uh you've obviously got the gpd logo here which uh allows you to open up the console quite nicely as you can see there it's got a nice little lip so yeah let's uh let's turn this on and wait for it to load the menu screen which is usually quite quick it just allows you to just ask you to unlock or swipe on the screen to get into the Android home screen like so 
and then because it's Android and it is an old version of Android so it's not going to be the latest one but this old version allows you to download emulators and uh, I think GPD can kind of customize it to their needs as well so straight out of the box this is what you kind of get I have added a few of my own so you get games application settings so you do have all of your stuff on here because it is an android device you get bbc news you can get spotify netflix youtube twitter all on this handheld games console here which is quite nice but the thing you want to see oh excuse me you can download android games as well so if you want to play certain android games from the app store you can do that all in one as well because this is technically an Android gaming device, but the emulators that it already loads is one called Happy Chick, KO Game Boss, and PPSS PP. But straight out of the box, you get these little selections down here, which I think if you go down, you can go to arcade, uh, you can go to your N64, and these are all preloaded here, which comes straight out of the box. I think I downloaded the ones you see with no icons are the ones I've downloaded but straight out of the box, you do get a wide selection. You even get Pokemon Snap on here, Earthworm Jim, Mega Man. So if we go down to SFC here, you get Chrono Trigger, Castlevania, Double Dragon, Aladdin. What else we got, sorry. Super Mario, Super Bomberman. And then if we go over to PS1, sorry. Where are the ones that I downloaded? Where are you? There we go, Pokemon Stadium. So I'll show you this right now. We can literally play Pokemon Stadium on this handheld console here, which is absolutely mad. And you could see how quick it was to load then. Turn up the volume, you probably can't see that. If I focus in, excuse me. Clefairy. Just go in, press start. And I'm quite literally playing Pokemon Stadium on this handheld device here. Now, what I'll show you as well is the Game Boy Advance emulators, which you can download, which are really easy. So if you come out of this, quite simple, you just press that and you press exit, and obviously you can save into your SD card and that's the main reason I love this because it saves all of your uh, games, whichever one you're using. So if we go to this here, the main emulator screen, there's this thing called Happy Chick, which is already pre-installed, which is really, really cool. Uh, I don't really understand most of it here, um, but basically you log into your Wi-Fi, which is really easy because it's an uh, Android device. I think I've just spat over it then, great. Um, obviously I haven't uh, logged in yet, but if I go to my games or play, sorry, play, these are the ones I've literally downloaded. I've downloaded Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Fire Red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my Wi-Fi and show you how easy it is to download an emulator or ROM into this console. Okay, so I've just logged into my Wi-Fi. We'll quickly go over to emulators, back into Happy Chick, like so. You should know that I have Wi-Fi connection and then it comes up with this like marketplace that I'm not 100% sure what most of it says but uh, we'll ignore that and what we'll do is we'll search games so if we go into I don't know Pokemon like you can get anything you can get GTA on this thing if need be Pokemon it's probably hard to see that but there's a couple of games here so we've got Pokemon Fire Red which I've already installed Pokemon Stadium which I've got Pokemon Stadium 2 uh, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Ruby, Pokemon Black, Pearl, uh, Pokemon Adventure Red, Sapphire, Pokemon Snap, like there is a ton here. Um, let's go with, should we go with Pokemon Leaf Green, 5.1 megs, Game Boy Advance, English. Download. Comes up with that, I'm happy, download. And it says up here, Pokemon 1, uh, Pokemon Leaf Green version 1 is downloading, and if I go into play, I think it is, um, there you have it, it's currently downloading, and it might have already downloaded like that quick. If I click play, we can go into single game, and it should, there we go, like that is how easy it is to download a, a Pokemon ROM, or any other game, it could be Zelda, etc, you name it. 
Okay, I've managed to get into the main game here. And now, like a lot of us, we've been through this game a lot of times, right? Us Pokemon gamers, we like to go through it. And now and then, we just want to speed things up. So up here, there's actually a little button which pops out on uh, most emulators in here. And you could speed up by one, two, or even three times. If we get rid of that, sorry. Press B, go back in. And now I can play through Pokemon Leaf Green sped up by times three, which will save me a ton of time. And I know a lot of you like this, that you can speed up games, because sometimes Pokemon can be a little slow. And you can also go up here, and you can also press this one called State. That will save your state. So if I come out, if I go home and actually quit out of this game, and I go back into it, you can click on, is it archive entry? Yes, and you click save state, and it will load exactly, if I press play, where you left off. Boom. And obviously if you wanna go back to the times three, you just click that three times, boom. And you're ready to row row you're ready to roll and go out into the world of pokemon times three and you can save in this beautiful console here with analog sticks that's one really interesting thing uh, using pokemon with analog sticks it's kind of weird but i dig it in terms of battery life as well it's really good i've been using this for like three or four days now a couple of hours a day and it's on like 75 percent battery life which is really really good so you're definitely going to get like i think like probably about 10 hours gaming on this thing before you need to uh, charge it. The screen's really bright, it's a five inch touch screen, uh, which is really, really nice. You're not gonna get those problems that you did with Game Boys back in the day where you can't see shit. You got your two analog sticks as well, which is changing the way I play Pokemon, to be honest with you. And the fact that you can download like Sega, N64 ROMs, Game Boy ROMs, all in here, and you can speed it up and save it, it's just, revolutionary really and I don't feel like the GPD is gonna go down in price anytime soon because it's in such high demand and I can see myself using it for many years to come without doubt and you like it's just that easy like you saw in the video to download ROMs and download old games and the fact that like the other day I went in to buy Pokemon Gold in my uh, local CEX store and they wanted 25 quid for the uh for the Game Boy cartridge, and I'm like, Jesus, I can get it for free on here. Admittedly, it's not a it's not a Game Boy, but uh, the only reason people are going to start buying cartridges now is for just just to collect them, really. Um, so yeah, there you have it. My overall rating is like it's probably like nine out of ten for this thing. It's absolutely awesome. I love it. I love the fact that you can save all the time as well and speed things up. Uh, but the only problem is it's quite pricey. So I appreciate all of you that told me to get hold of one. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's probably one of my favorite um, consoles out there or like fake consoles uh, that I'll be using on a regular basis. So big up GPD for making this. It's absolutely awesome. And I can't wait to see what they do in the future. If you're looking to create a website, then you should take a peek at Squarespace. Squarespace allows you to create stunning, modern looking sites in just a few minutes. Simply use one of their unique templates and then drag and drop sections to create your own unique styled website. You can now even transfer over your old unused domains into Squarespace so that you can get started on an affordable and powerful platform. Use the link below squarespace.com slash brandonsalt to get yourself a nice discount.